hello students today we are going to start with the lesson teeth and microbes and what we are going to do here is discuss mcqs and question and answers from this chapter so let us immediately start so students let us begin with tick the correct answer the first question is the four chisel shaped teeth at the front of each jaw are the options are canines incisors molars premolars so what is the correct answer well the correct answer is incisors okay so the four chisel shaped teeth at the front of each jaw are called incisors well let us move on to the next question the next question is we use these teeth to tear pieces of food the options are incisors canines molars premolar so what is the correct answer the correct answer is canine so you can see over here this teeth are used to tear pieces of food then let us move on to the next question the next question is which of the following is used to clean between two teeth the options are dental floss toothbrush toothpaste nutcracker so what is used uh to clean between the two teeth the answer is dental floss okay so you can see over here this dental floss is used to clean between two teeth okay let us move on to the next question the next question is the number of grinding teeth in each jaw is the options are 3 4 5 6 so the number of grinding teeth are 6 as you can see over 3 over here and 3 over here so total there are 6 in each jaw okay the fifth question is to decay causes thirst bad breath hunger itching so what is the correct answer the correct answer is bad breath so tooth decay causes bad breath well let us move on to the next question so the next question is fill in the blanks and in that the first is eating too many sweet or fruits causes to decay then disease causing microbes are called dash options are germs microorganisms and pneumonia and typhoid are caused by dash bacteria or viruses let us see the answers the answers are eating too many sweets causes to decay so fruits and sweets among these two the answer is sweets sweets causes to decay and not the fruits then disease causing microbes are called germs and pneumonia and typhoid are caused by bacteria let us move on to the next fill in the blank the dash are used to make bread soft yeast or germs and fifth is fungi grow on decaying matter and causes diseases like ringworms and dash athlete's food or chicken pox answer to this question is the fourth question answer is yeast yeast are used to make bread soft and fungi grow on decaying matter causes diseases like ringworms and athlete's foot okay so athlete's foot is also caused by fungi then next question write short answers name different kinds of teeth the answer is there are four kind of teeth in permanent set incisors or cutting teeth canines or tearing teeth premolars or cracking teeth molars or grinding teeth okay so these are the four different kinds of teeth second question which are the three layers of a tooth here you will write there are three layers of teeth enamel dentine and pulp okay so what are the three layers of tooth enamel dentine and pulp third question write four conditions that help microbes to grow here you will write the following four condition help microbes to grow and then you will write warmth moisture food and air so these are the four conditions that help microbes to grow and what are they warmth moisture food and air let us see fourth question name four kinds of microbes here you will write there are four kind of microbes bacteria viruses protozoa and fungi so these are the four kinds of microbes 
बैक्टीरिया वायरसेस प्रोटोजोआ एंड फंजाइ फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन राइट एनी फोर डिजीजेस कॉज्ड बाय माइक्रोब्स द फोर डिजीजेस कॉज्ड बाय माइक्रोब्स आर टाइफॉइड चिकन पॉक्स फ्लू पोलियो सो दीज आर द फोर डिजीजेस कॉज्ड बाय माइक्रोब्स व्हाट आर दे टाइफॉइड चिकन पॉक्स फ्लू एंड पोलियो the next question is answer these questions and in that the first one is how are teeth important to us here you will write teeth are important part of our body clean and well kept teeth make our smile beautiful they give proper shape to our face teeth help us to speak clearly they enable us to bite and chew food which makes digestion easy okay so these are the reasons why teeth are important second question what are the functions of molars and premolars here you will write following are the functions of molars and premolars molars or grinding teeth molars are used to grind food premolars or cracking teeth premolar functions like nut cracker then they are used for crushing food so these are the functions of molars and premolars So let us move on to the third question the third question is what type of food are good for our teeth here you will write the food rich in calcium and vitamin c are important for healthy teeth and gums then milk cheese and cottage cheese are rich sources of calcium so these types of food are good for our teeth okay fourth question write two tips which help to keep our teeth healthy Here you will write brush your teeth every day two times during morning after getting up and night time before going to bed and then do not have too many sweets or colas because if we have too many sweets or colas then that might cause tooth decay okay so these are couple of tips that will help our teeth to keep healthy fifth question What are microbes? Name two diseases caused by protozoa. Here you will write microbes are very small living things which cannot see with our eyes. And then you will write malaria and dysentery are caused by protozoa. So what are microbes? Microbes are the small living things which cannot be seen with our eyes. And then you will write two examples: malaria and dysentery, which are caused by protozoa. Well students with that we arrive on the last question for the day which is a sixth question how are some microbes useful for us here you will write some microbes like bacteria change milk into curd the next point you will write some produce vitamins in our body then third point you will write some help in decaying of dead plants and animals and last you will mention some help in digestion of roughage in animals so these are few examples where microbes are useful for us well students that was all from my side if you have any questions feel free to ask you can put your questions in comment box so thank you for attending this session see you during next session with a new topic until then take care bye bye